Hello, uh, good day. So I'm here to demonstrate to you how we use debug at the same time um, execute a file. So let me load up the Windows 98. So by the way, I've created a Windows 98 uh, virtual box here. So I'm starting the machine now. Uh, and let's wait for a while. So the machine is currently loading. I need to boot up the machine hope you can see okay now in Windows 98 just need to press enter here okay now Windows 98 is boot up so let's begin we close this one now to demonstrate the debug application, uh, wait, let me close this. Uh, yes. Okay. We need to go to our prompt here. So start run, and then we just type here uh, command. That will redirect us to our uh, command prompt. And then from here, what I need you to do is to go to your drive C. Okay, now in my drive C there. Now I created already a folder named debug. So inside the debug folder, let's change the directory. So we have some of uh, most of these files here. Now let me demonstrate it to you by creating another file. Let me delete all of this. Yes. And let's create a new file. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to use edit which is a editor and then this is where we're going to type most of our commands now the first thing is we need to set up our, our assembly here we're in we're going to set let's say a 100 this will be our uh, starting address and then we're going to use move ah02 now we're going to display here a single character then once we have that let's display move dx and then the character that we would like to display. For the meantime, let's say that we're going to display 41, wherein 41 is our hexadecimal value for letter A. Then after that, let's execute integer 21, and then let's terminate integer 20, okay? Once we have that uh, code, the next thing to do is that you need to have a space here, and then on this line, we're going to type now to create a file so rcx and then the size of the file let's say 100 bytes and then let's give it a name and let's say this will be test.com okay so we'll be creating a file after that write it and then quit and then you need to have another space here so once we have that already the next thing to do is let's save it go to your file save the file now here, I'm currently inside the debug folder that I've created. Let's save this as test.asm. Then create or save or press OK. Once you have that already, you could go back to the DOS prompt or DOS directory. If you press DIR, there you see that I have created already our file, which is test.acm. So if you'd like to view it, just type test.acm then this is our file to execute this you don't need to go to debug anymore but rather you just type here debug followed by the less than symbol and then type here the name of the file which is test.acm enter what uh, the bug did is to render all the files uh, the commands that we have created so these are the commands so we started at uh, 100 so the bug will automatically identify each line and then provide the needed uh, space of data allocation for that. So we have here our move AH02. By the way, 02 again is we're printing out a character. Then after that, we are displaying the character, which is 41. After we have displayed, we will, uh, after we have this one, then we need to execute it by using interrupt 21. 
and then terminating it by using interrupt 20. RCX, so we set the file uh, byte size of the file to 100 bytes and then using N, you'll be asked to save the file to an executable one. So we're going to use here test.com, right? And then after writing, we're going to quit. So if you go to typing directory here, there you would see test.com already. Now to execute the file, so test, just press enter. There you see um, A, which is our value that we tested. Now if you want to edit it, again, just type here edit and then test.acm, then it will load up the file. Uh, let's say we want to change this to letter uh, C. So 41, let's make this as 43, then go to file, save, then you go back again to DOS prompt, DOS, uh, then type, let's check whether our changes has take effect. So there we have 43 again, and then execute by just typing debug space, test, uh, sorry, less than symbol test.acm. Enter, it rendered again, and then uh, just execute the file by typing test, enter, there you see letter C. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial. Hope you like this one. Uh, I'll this, I will, on the, our next tutorial, I'll create another example for you guys. Okay, thanks.